Hi guys, in today's lesson, we are going to use the Simpson's rule to approximate the values of a definite integral from the lower limit a to the upper limit b. A definite integral is an integral with a lower and an upper limit. For example, if you want to integrate from a lower limit a to upper limit b of any function, and this is called the definite integral. But in some cases, the integrations of this function is very difficult, so we can use different approximation method. And Simpson's rule is one of the formulas used to find the approximate values of a definite integral. But before that, I will do one example of the integrations of a definite integral, and the exact value will become out. Then we use the Simpson's rule to approximate value. So if you want to find the areas by integration, and the areas under a curve is the region bounded by the given function, vertical lines, and the x-axis. See an example below here. The area A here is the area bounded by the function f(x) and the x-axis, with the lower limit A to、uh, upper limit B. And this area can be found by an integral function of a to b of f(x) dx. So if you want to find the areas under the curve with the x-axis, you can follow these four steps. The step one is sketch the area. Step two, determine the boundaries a and b, and set up a definite integral. Finally, integrate it and find the area. So why not do an example? Exercise one: We find the area in the first quadrant bounded by the function f(x) equal to 4x minus x squared and the x-axis. And then, if you want to find these two points P and Q, you just set y equals zero into this function. You have 4x minus x square equals zero, and then x 4 minus x equals zero. So x is equal zero, or x is equal four. So this point P here should be P x is equal zero and y equals zero, and this point Q here should be Q. x equal four and y equal zero. So you got the two points here. This is the lower limit and the upper limit of the definite integral. Then you define the definite integral. The definite integral will be from zero to four f x d x is equal to zero to four f x is four x minus x square d x. You take the integration four x square over two minus x cube over three from the lower limit zero. To four, and then you substitute four into here. You got four four to the square over two minus four to the cube over three minus everything else is zero minus zero. Then you have four to four sixteen sixteen to the four is sixty four over two minus sixty four over three, and then you multiply by three in here. You got one hundred and ninety two. Over six minus one hundred and twenty-eight over six. Then it is equal to sixty-four over six. So sixty-four over six is equal to ten point six. So the area under this curve is equal to ten point six units square. Integral. So before we use the Simpson's rule to approximate the values of a definite integrals, we have to know the formulas of the Simpson's rule. And the formulas of the Simpson rules is that an integral of a to b f x d x is equal to delta x over three multiplied by f x zero plus four f x one plus two f x two and plus four f x three and dot dot dot. Until two f x n minus two plus four f x n minus one plus f x n. You may see the coefficients of f x zero and the f x n is equal to one, and the coefficients of f x one to f x n minus one is equal to four, two, four, two, four, etc. And in this case, n is a even number, so n is equal to 2k, where k is belong to any integer. So this equation is the Simpson's rule. And now we use the Simpson's rule to approximate the values of the integrate from zero to four, four x minus x square. 
Okay, Simpson's rule approximation of an integration 0 to 4, 4x minus x squared dx. And how about we divide the function into a given portion? Let's say n is equal to h. In here, we have the delta x over 3. This one is fx0 plus 4 fx1 plus 2 fx2 plus 4 fx3 plus 2 fx4 plus 4 fx5 plus 2 fx6 plus 4 fx7 and finally is plus fx8 so what is the values of delta x the values of delta x is equal to the upper limit minus to the lower limit divided by n and in this case b is equal to 4 and a is equal to 0 n is equal to 8 so we have delta x equal to half and we have to calculate the fx0 fx1 fx2 and etc but before that we have to know what is the values of x0 x1 x2 to x8 so therefore x0 is equal to 0 the lower limits and x1 is equal to 0 plus half so we got 0.5 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 1.5 x4 is equal to 2.0 x5 equal to 2.5 x6 equal to 3.0 x7 is equal to 3.5 and finally 8 to the 8 is equal to the upper limit 4 so how to calculate the fx we substitute x equals 0 into the above function 4x minus x squared so we substitute 0 into 4x minus x squared we have 0 and then fx1 is equal to 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 to the square is equal to 2 minus 0 0.5 to the square is 0 0.25 so it's equal to 1.75 and then you go ahead to calculate the values of fx2 fx3 until it's fx8 so i'm going to have a cup of coffee after that and i hope that you have calculated all the values from fx2 to fx8so after coffee mix about 50 minutes i have calculated all the values from fx2 equal to 3 fx3 equal to 3.75 fx4 5 6 7 and 8 equal to 0 fx0 equal to 0 fx1 equal to 1.75 fx2 equal to 3 and etc and then apply the simpson rule to approximate the integration from 0 to 4 4 x minus x squared dx so it's equal to the delta x over 3 and we know that delta x is equal to half and over 3 so it's 1 6 and this is the function of fx0 plus 4 fx1 plus 2 fx2 plus 4 fx3 plus 2 fx4 plus 4 fx5 plus 2 fx6 plus 4 fx7 and plus fx8 and then it is approximate the values of 1 6 fx0 we can see is 0 and plus 4 of fx1 1.75 plus 2 fx2 3 so it's multiplied by 3 plus 4 fx3 is 3.75 plus 2 fx4 is 4 plus 4 fx5 is 3.75 and plus 2 fx6 is 3 and then we plus 4 fx7 is 1.75 and then we plus fx8 is 0 so the value is approximate to 1 6 of this one is equal to 0 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to 7 plus 6 but this one is 15 plus 8 and then plus 15 plus 6 and then plus 7 plus 0 so it's approximate to the values of 1, 6. You add these values all together, so be 64. So approximate to the values of 64 over 6. Approximate to 10.66. So you can see in this simple case, our approximation values is 10.6666. 
and the actual values is also equal to 10.666. It's a very special case because our integrate function is 4x minus x squared. It's so simple. So the actual value is equal to the approximation value. So it's okay for today's lesson. If you like my video, please subscribe to my videos and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. Adio. Hasta la vista.